All right, I don't know how many days have lapsed for you, have passed for you. Um, I <laughs> just filmed the first part of this haul. I had two big Goodwill bags. It was $128 and I purchased 35 items. I'll do the math right here in case you haven't watched that first video. Hopefully that's enough time. I had a 20% off coupon and yeah, here's this haul. My name's Nicole. I'm a full-time fourth grade teacher and I resell part-time for extra cash for our family. We have two dogs, Dally, Grizz. They're both featured in another video. They're on a walk right now. And we have a son named, I don't know if you can see it, Otis. He's taking a nap right now. Baby monitor is on. And let's do this second bag. Looks like this. If you wanna see what else I got, I'm gonna to try to figure out how to link. I know the link bar goes like somewhere up here. I need to figure out how to do that. I'm still very new to YouTube. This will be my fifth video. So editing and things like that are still very fresh, but right on top, I was excited about this. It's dress up, dress up America. It's a bumblebee Halloween costume. I'm filming this on October 7th. I think that's what I'm going with. With October, it's on, it is October 7th. Um, it's for 12 to 24 month olds, but Otis is wearing 12 month clothes already. So I think it'll fit him this year. If it doesn't, it'll definitely fit him next year. So that will be his Halloween costume, or at least one of them this year, next year. This brand, hate the name, love the brand, Fat Face. And this is a size US 12. Um, my husband and I each have some, like, I have some sweaters by this brand. Chad has more, like, some button-up, like, casual button-up tops from this brand. And they just fit well. And I feel like they're the kind, of, it's the brand that, like, doesn't really shrink. Like, it's quality, but it's not too expensive of quality. And so, like I said, this is a size 12. It's kind of cropped. I thought about keeping it for myself. There's quite a few things in this haul. I thought about keeping for myself. Uh, next piece, Zara. I said in the first video, I don't like always pick up Zara because it's, it's just fast fashion, but I felt like this button detail and like you can, there are like functional buttons. You can unbutton it on both sides. I just felt some Y2K vibes up in this. Like this was something that when I was in high school, I'd see some other girl wearing out of the night. I wish I could pull that off. I could have. I still Th This is me. Okay, this is me. Next, uh, a philosophy, which philosophy sometimes is sold at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, but this was a size 24 and black is just always classic and it's very in this year. Like black on black is very much the vibe. And it had these really pretty bell sleeves and this button back. So I enjoy little details like, so it's not just a black top, it's a black top with bell sleeves and a button back. It's more than just basic. And I, I personally like that um, when I'm picking out just very plain black, white, neutral tone pieces. J Jill again, this is, sorry, size small. Just a salmon colored basic V-neck. I'm gonna save this one. Next, gap maternity. I am not pregnant, but I know that I want to be pregnant again somewhat soonish. And things like this are just perfect because it's hard to find good long sleeve pregnant, like maternity tops, at least I found. But I had a bunch of tank tops. And so then a good little maternity cardigan. I'll probably try to sell it, and if it doesn't sell, then I'll just keep it myself. Um, another Disney piece, I said in the first video, I think the first video I had two Disney pieces that I showed you all. Um, and Disney sells well, I am not a Disney person. Like I have an appreciation for Disney, but is not something that I 
yearn to do or go to or anything like that. Um, but yeah, okay, next, this. The tag seemed cool, seemed nicer. I feel like I've heard the brand, but I couldn't remember if it was anything. I don't get good service in this Goodwill that we went to, that I went to, but it's, I'm thinking a dress, tunic, I don't know, it's collared. I feel like the brand is something, but I just could not remember. And it was in 30, like size 38. It might not be anything. And so I just grabbed this, but whatever. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna look it up. But I liked it enough that I went ahead and grabbed it. So I will report on here if it's, if it is anything, it might not be. I might be like, y'all don't buy this. But <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube videos. And that's why I also wanted to create a YouTube channel. Um, because I feel like the more information that's out there, the better it is for everyone. And I feel like I've seen that brand somewhere. But then again, I can't remember if it was someone's bread and butter. If it was someone's like, yes, I found this. <laughs> so I took the risk. It's okay. If it, it, It's okay. It's okay. Next, we have Michael Stars. Michael Stars can be hit or miss for me, but I said in my last video, I feel like ponchos are going to be making a comeback. Why do I think that? Because Y2K 2010s are coming back. And I remember I wore a lot of ponchos then, so I bet they come back. But that's like one size. I loved the color. Again, I said in the last video, so sorry, I keep referring to the last video, but um, if you haven't watched it, I will try to link it up here somewhere. Um, family photos, Christmas time, holiday season, Thanksgiving. People are gonna be like, oh my gosh, family cards, happy holidays, what should we wear? Should I do a video of some good family photo options? Because again, this is a nice neutral. It has texture. It's not going to take away from your beautiful face. And you can, your partner can wear green or blue to go along with this. Your kids can wear those colors. Your dogs can wear colors that will go nicely with that. Anyway, let me know if I should do that. Comment below. Next, Torrid size zero, which I think is a size large, but they're these green kind of like gaucho pants. Again, we'll see if the true Y2K 2010s come back, all right? We wore gaucho pants. Are y'all ready to commit to gaucho pants again? Hmm? Hmm? Because people acted like they wanted to commit to low rise and that lasted about a second. And we're like, yeah, it wasn't cool. <laughs> Next, Eileen Fisher. 2X. I've never sold Eileen Fisher in a um, 2X in a plus size. So it's just a basic white boxy tee. But I thought I would try it. Oh my goodness. There's only three items left in this bag. Um, when I've sold Eileen Fisher, Eileen Fisher is like, usually it's like organic cotton. It's really good quality re retail and resell our qual or um both do really well yeah i don't know if you can see that it's 100 percent organic cotton all right another disney item a turvis cup this cost me a dollar fifty turvis is the brand turvis uh like i said earlier i'm not a huge disney person but these cups are awesome i love turvis cups so i thought if the comps weren't there to sell it, oh yeah, so it says on the side, I don't know if we'll be able to read that. Disney Turvis. Hmm. If the comps, like if it doesn't look like it's gonna sell sell well, I'll keep it because I love Turvis cups for like smoothies and stuff. I just probably won't bring it out in public because I don't wanna have a Disney conversation when I'm not equipped to. And I'm not, I'm not bashing on Disney. I think Disney's great. I love Disney. I love Disney Pixar. Like, I enjoy their movies, but it's Disney World and Disneyland. I'm too anxious for it. I, that's too many people. I get claustrophobic. 
So this is another Chico's. Actually, I don't think I've had Chico's in this, in this haul. But this is a Chico's line easy wear. Size three equates to an extra large. She says with confidence, and I'm pretty sure it is. I've sold this before for like 18 bucks, a tank top. It's just silver shimmery. It's the kind of material that um, doesn't wrinkle. This was literally in the bottom corner of that bag. No wrinkles. And the last pair, I went back and forth on whether I should buy these or not. This brand is having a big moment in denim. I can smell it now. Not Hollister, but Abercrombie and Fitch. It's having a big moment. These are size two, so I contemplated. There are a few reasons why I contemplated whether I should get these or not. They're size two, so they're a smaller size, and these are the skinny high rise. Skinny is just really kind of out the door at this point. I think we have found some more flattering um, cuts of jeans, but I did pick these up because one, I wanted to try Abercrombie, and again, I wanted to see if it would bring traffic to my closet. Um, let me see, I don't know if they have the dates on them. Okay, but I liked that they were in this like medium wash, and where is it at? It's kind of to the side. They have the slit. I love all my jeans that have the slit in them because they're not so restrictive. So like these are definitely as skinny, but they're not as skinny skin, like they're not super tight and they have the, the slit on them. You can see it over here. Very clean, basic pockets. There were no pulls. Um, these seem newer. And so, and this Abercrombie and Fitch tag I think is kind of like the newer look. So I decided to buy them. I will keep you updated on how those sell. So yeah, there's a couple of things I'm gonna update you on in this video, but I'm excited with what I got. Bread and butter. Um, I'm recording this on my phone, so I would do the math for you real quick, but let's see if I, I said I spent 128, I got 35 items. I might even get the math. Like I'm starting to in my head and I'm like, you know what? We've been doing fractions and stuff at school. I don't need to do it now. If my husband was here, he'd like walk by and be like, oh, it's about this much. He can just do the math in his head. But anyway, there are a few things I'm really excited about all together in the, the two videos The I'm reaching for it right now. The Bumblebee costume, because that cost me like four bucks and I am excited about the Disney or the Mickey Mouse Turvis because if it doesn't sell well, I have another Turvis and I love the Turvis. I'm excited about, ooh, it's down here deep. It's just H&M, but this top for myself. Um, I've been trying to reinvent my fashion because I'm a, I'm a breastfeeding mama and uh, it is just, yeah. You gotta find clothes that are accessible for the babe. I'm excited about this number, this Studio Works sweater with the button in the front, just the single button, cute little gathering in the back. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about this cabbie top. A little sneak peek from the last video if you, if you uh, missed that. And then, oh, where is it at? Oh. Oh, this is from the last video too. And I'm excited to look up this brand and see if it is what I remembered it to be or not. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. Thank you so much for watching and hanging with me. I hope this channel continues to grow and we continue to grow and learn together. The teacher in me just loves that stuff. But for now, stay groovy. Bye y'all.